Hello there, Kyle Katarn here with some breaking news. Dave Filoni's next animated Star Wars project has been revealed. It is Star Wars Resistance. Now we don't know a whole lot about this yet, but I'm going to lay down the facts that we do know. It is set during the sequel trilogy era. Most likely between episodes 6 and 7, although that has not been explicitly confirmed yet. It will feature established characters like Poe, General Organa, BB-8, and Captain Phasma. Um, Oscar Isaac and Gwendolyn Christie have been confirmed to be voicing their characters. I am particularly excited to see Captain Phasma take to the screen. I think this is an awesome opportunity for them to really flesh out her character and make her a little bit less, uh, shall we say, useless. I know that Gwendolyn Christie herself is very enthusiastic about the character of Phasma, so it's no surprise to me that she's willing to return and voice the role. Dave Filoni himself is helming the projects, which should be no surprise to anybody. Athena Portillo and Justin Ridge are both executive producers on this project. They both executive produced The Clone Wars and Rebels, along with Brandon Allman, who worked on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Hell yeah. And Amy Beth, who is the art director, was also the art director for The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. So with that combination of creative folks, I'm thinking we're going to see something stylistically very similar to what we've seen in the past. Dave Filoni says, The idea for Star Wars Resistance came out of my interest in World War II aircraft and fighter pilots. My grandfather was a pilot, my uncle flew in restored planes, so that's been a big influence on me, and there's a long history of high-speed racing in Star Wars, and I think we've captured that sense of excitement in an anime-inspired style, which is something my entire team has wanted to do for a long time. Anime-inspired style. So that makes me think it's going to look a little different visually. Now, this is the only image that we have so far, but I believe it offers us some clues, along with that quote from Filoni about anime-inspired style. If you look at BB-8, he doesn't really strike me as traditional 2D. He looks more like that, you know, cel-shaded 3D that's really come back into style in the last few years. And I think that's more what we can expect to see from this. A lot of this is still very much up in the air, but one thing is for damn certain, I will be reacting to every episode of this show, and you can find those reactions right here on this channel. So stay tuned, and I'm looking forward to doing that with you guys this fall. Are you excited about this show? Are you worried about this show? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more awesome Star Wars content. And as always, may the Force be with you.